what's going on guys welcome back to another video and if you're wondering why i have a microphone in my hand it is because my shock mount literally just broke super right before making this video but that's besides the point so today i'm going to be talking about why attention is profit in the modern day so if you're on this channel and if you're in this scene of like, you know, self-help, you know, you already know that a lot of people are kind of like social media reverse. Everybody's like, oh, delete social media. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about something in the lines of social media. So we know companies like Amazon, especially Meta with Mike Zuckerberg. We got Microsoft. We have Tesla. We have Intel. We have all these companies. Right. And the thing about them is that they use attention to get your attention. They they use things to harness your attention so they can make profits. Now, how does this translate to us people in the modern day? It's pretty big. Attention is profit. Every eyeball that you can catch, every eyeball you can catch for your business is profit. So I got this idea from the YouTuber Alex Hermosi in one of his videos. I think it's lit either... It was either a podcast or his videos, and it was on the lines of attention is the new oil. And that video, as well as the almanac of Naval Ravikant, changed my life. So I'm going to tell my story really quickly. So I've been doing this for a long time. I've had multiple YouTube channels. I used to play Fortnite, and I used to play Valorant, and I had at least three or four YouTube channels where I used to just play video games, right? And in the process of that, I used to always delete my channels periodically because of fear, like, and I still am afraid to be making a video like this right now, but I gotta get out of my comfort zone eventually, so exactly what I'm doing right now. But I used to do that all the time. I also had a newsletters. I think I've made at least three newsletters, and I've also spent money on a newsletter site called Ghost, and then I ended up deleting it in two months, which was the biggest waste of money. And it's crazy how a year later I actually regret doing that because now I'm doing it again. So that's my story. And I'm always and I was afraid because I always felt like, you know, somebody was like going to say something mean about me or but it's like or, you know, come to get me or whatever. It's, you know, boogeyman, whatever crap. But I always felt like that. And it's a very like strange thing when you feel that way. But for some reason, like, I realize that's just so stupid because you have all these YouTubers out there, like, you know, you have Alex Hermosi, you have Hamza, you have Amon Gadzi, you have KSI, you have PewDiePie. And these people have been doing this for, like, decades almost. And it's like, why, do, why would I, why should I be afraid when there's, like, millions of people doing this every day? And I guarantee there'll be more. And that's a point that I'm going to cover in a little bit. So, Alex Hermosi in this video, he kind of went over how attention is a new oil and how, how oil used to be drilled back in the early 20th century with people like J.D. Rockefeller. I don't know who else did oil. J.D. Rockefeller, I think Vanderbilt. I don't know, I forgot his name, but a guy named some guy with the last name Vanderbilt. They used to drill oil. And in this day and age, the whole oil concept is now being translated over to content and how people are drilling your attention every single time you get on an app, every time you get on anything. Anything that can catch your eye, that is another bit of profit for the businesses. And they're more profit for the businesses and for them themselves as well so what he was talking about how he used to be afraid of making content and the point that really kind of sparked change in my mindset towards content because at this point i've already just started making it again but it kind of just perpetuated the cycle of me saying okay i'm committing to this now was this point he was talking to this i think it was like a famous investor like one of his i'm just gonna call him his friend i'm not gonna be getting to the specifics it was just his friend and the guy said something that changed him and I think changed me as well. And I'm hopefully it'll change you guys. He said so many lines of if making content allows me to create more impact, I don't like I don't care if there's a few weirdos. And I was like, you know, yeah, because if something like this is going to change your life for the better, why would you be scared of it? Even if a few weirdos are going to be around and, and what happens? But like, why would you call them weirdos? Because most of the time it's just going to be a person coming up to you saying, oh, I know Will. You, you know, it's a video, like, I've seen you on video, like, I like your videos or something like, like you know, oh yeah, Alex Hermosi, I see you on a video, I, I like your content, man. Most of the time, it's just going to be something on the lines of that, so it's not really going to be that big of a deal. 
So I thought of that and I was like, that changed my life. Another point which is in a book, I think I've, I'll probably make a review on this eventually. It's called The Almanac of Naval Ravikant, written by Eric Jurgensen. So basically the book is just a, a compilation of all of Naval Ravikant's tweets on Twitter. He has a whole bunch of tweet storms about like how to get rich, how to stay, get wealthy, how to get healthy, and all these things, the pillars that I will cover on the channel for sure. And the point he was going over how to get wealthy was at the very beginning of the book, and he was talking about how to create leverage in your life. So there was four, there was four times of leverage, and the four types of leverage were, and I'm going to do this on a pyramid scale, being the two being at the top, being the most relevant in this day and age. And you'll probably, you can already guess. I know you guys are smart. You guys can guess whatever it is. If I was watching this video, I probably wouldn't be able to guess what I would, I wouldn't be able to connect the ideas, but I know, I know the people who are watching me are smart. So you guys are going to connect these ideas. So the bottom one is labor. The middle one is cash. And at the very top, let's guess it code and media media being content creation and attention code being attention as well so breaking that down that changed my life i saw that pyramid like a couple years ago when i was starting my youtube channel last year when i had this channel and i was like i didn't really know what to do but i remember reading this book i think i've read this book or i'm not gonna say the book entirely but i'm gonna say i think i've read the book entirely a few times and then that same section i probably like looked at it over and over again just kind of drill it in my head the idea of content so that really that really changed my life and i'll probably end up posting uh, my blog in the description so you guys can like see the the video this is like kind of like, it's kind of like similar to the the video that i'm talking about right now it's more of like a transcript the idea of here but the pyramid really changed my life it allowed me to see like okay like it's okay to make content because this stuff is actually real now like maybe 10 years ago this wasn't a real like hobby for most people it wasn't it was just a hobby it really wasn't a thing that could like earn you something or allow you to create value for other people but this is real but my thing is my business i really don't want it to be co all content based i'm more of a programmer but that's besides the point we're gonna go into that later in the future in the future in the future so my predictions for the next couple of years when it comes to making content is that people like Kylie Jenner and Mr. Beast will become billionaires off of this stuff. And I believe it's true. Hermosi talked about that. He said that he believes Mr. Beast is going to be a pensive billionaire. And I think Mr. Beast is already like a multi, I think he's in the hundreds of millions at this point. And I'm like, okay, that's, it's pretty intense for content. And I don't even know how often he uploads because I really don't watch like his type of content. I didn't even know Kylie Jenner was a billionaire, but most of it is just off content and it's not content like you know me being on youtube right now like it's it's every platform like instagram and this is combined with like their endorsement deals the podcast money that like everything it's not just like their one stage platform but it's merely just from like them just making content on the platform itself and then the the content itself sorry if i'm not looking at the camera by the way i always look up at my <laughs> i always like to look up so another thing I, another prediction I had was that just like how people are starting to invest in businesses as of the, you know, as of 2020, 2020, you know, people are starting to invest more in other companies. I think eventually people will start investing into actual individual entities and it'll be like a big thing. Like people will literally invest IPOs, like content creators will have IPOs. I think Logan Paul actually had one. Is it? Yeah. Logan Paul, not Jake Paul. Logan Paul actually had one recently. A couple years ago, I think. I, actually, I'm not 100 percent sure. If I gotta do research on that, but I think he had like an IPO. It was pretty pretty cool. But it's just him just having an IPO for his content, and they're literally people just invest in him and his content and his brand. So I think the personal brand and the personal identity will become like a, a very big thing in a couple years, in a like good ten next decade. And and I think like more people will have more influence, and you know the world will kind of like shift in different ways, but. That's my predictions for that. And so for the end of this video, I would like to say like, if you're scared to make content, I would definitely do it. Even if you are scared to you know, post every week, I'd say do that. If you're scared to post every day, do it. But not to say that there's a specific time as much as you should post, but drill as much as you can. And if you are scared, I'd say this, just make content. If you don't feel like doing it for a while, just don't do it. Don't delete anything. Don't make the same mistake as me because I regret it a year later. 
not doing this and keep going. But things happen for a reason and I'm being guided. That's all I can say. So thank you.